Chicago is one of the key cities in the United States and it is the third most populous city in the country. So numerous crimes take place around the clock. So our visualization helps city residents and city police department for their analysis purposes. Let's see how our application works. At the beginning, we have insights provided. We have come up with these insights from this uh, analysis from our visualizations, which we will show in a moment. So let's move on to our spatial temporal analysis. When a crime gets reported, three major aspects are reported. The type of the crime where the location of the crime and when the time in which the crime was committed so to answer this what where and when questions we have gone with a spatio temporal analysis and we have categorized the crimes into three major types violent property and sexual we have taken the help from the fbi website over here on the city map we can have a view of its community and the police stations in the city on the temporal visualizations we have given four options to choose different frequency types like yearly monthly weekly and hourly Let's see how all these visualizations work together. Suppose I'm a city resident uh, living in Austin community and I want to know how different crimes happen in my community. But I don't know where Austin is located in the map. So I go to the selection box at the top, choose the community from, and I see that Austin is highlighted on the map as soon as I get uh, selected. I'll, ho I'll hover on the, over the community to see the total number of crimes. And I can see that crime count has come down over the years when I select it. But I work in a different community say near west side which is here and i want to choose safe working hours so i'll click on that uh, and i'll go to the hourly selection from the temporal analysis and i have different hour blocks to choose from two hour block and three hour block x so on uh, let's say we choose three hour block uh, we can see that uh, more number of crimes happen in the later part of the day from 9 pm 9 am to 12 pm in the night so i can choose to come early for the work around 6 am in the morning Suppose now I'm a businessman and I want to set up a new branch. Uh, let's see for the uh, case of the entire city. Let's visualize for the entire city. So um, since I'm a businessman, I would be interested only in specific uh, type of crimes, say property crimes. So I choose that from the uh, crime filter. I see that uh, when I choose the property filter, the neighborhood around near north side and Austin are not so safe for property crimes. Also, I would like to avoid South Central neighborhood because it also has a lot, lot of crimes. But I would choose around somewhere around northern part or southern part of this city. Let's see how these crimes occur over a year. And we see that uh, from the uh, by choosing the monthly trend from the uh, temporal analysis. Crimes peak during the summer and they tend to happen less likely over the winter. So I may choose to employ more security personnel during the summer. Now let's suppose I'm a policeman and I work in Rogers Park Police Station. Now on hovering on that, I can see the police district corresponding uh, in the whatever communities are under that district and the crime count. I can choose different uh, year range to choose the trend from for the entire city and all the crimes as well. Say I choose 2011 to 2016 or I can change the year accordingly and I can see that um, on selecting yearly, we can see the trends we can clearly see that the trend has come down from 2011 to 2016. So on hovering over each police station, we can see that Austin is covered under three police districts, but still the crime is significantly higher when compared to other communities. Now let's reset our filters and move on to the next visualization, which is our daily analysis. On hovering on each day, we can see the crime count for that specific day. From this heat map, we can see that first day of each month tend to have the highest crime count for that month, and first Jan is the worst of all. We can also analyze special days such as Christmas week or Thanksgiving day, which is the fourth Thursday of November, and we can see that on these occasions, crimes have come down. We have the same scale for all the years, and we can see that crime rates have come down over the years, which you have seen previously using the uh, temporal visualizations over our uh, yearly data. But uh, we see that in the recent years, heat map is not so effective. But don't worry, we can always choose a different year range filter at the top. On choosing this year range, we just come down and see that the heat map has uh, re-rendered itself with the corresponding data. Also, we can uh, choose different uh, community from the selection drop down. So say I choose Austin and different crime types, say property, and the heat map renders for that specific crime type. 
Now let's move on to the next set of visualizations by resetting all the filters. We can navigate to the next set of visualizations from the uh, menu bar that we have provided, that is the police effective modes. The first visualization shows the uh, arrest trend for different crimes and the second visualization shows the arrest trend over the years. We see that from this visualizations, arrest trend has come down over the years. And for prostitution on the left, we see that arrest rate is very high. Let's try to explore for other crimes for better analysis by not choosing prostitution in our filters at the top. And also we try to choose a different year range for this. Let's say for example 2009 to 2015. We can come down to see that crime rate in homicide is almost double than the other crimes and burglary tends to happen in the lowest arrest rate. Now let's move on to other factors which may affect the crime. So we can do that by going to the drop or we, by scrolling down and uh, selecting the menu of uh, socioeconomic factors from the top. There are two factors that we have considered. Uh, one is unemployment and the poverty. So on the x-axis we have plotted uh, percentage of unemployed people who are 16 plus and on 40 plot we have uh, plotted percentage of household below the poverty line for the each community and the size of bubble each represents the population of each community and hovering on top of that bubble we can see the community name the unemployed people and the population of that community uh, you can see that a lot of clusters um, there is a, a big cluster in between so we have provided a zoom functionality for better exploration on zooming you can see a better view you can also go back to the original view by resetting the view and you can also pan around that. Surprisingly, we found that unemployment don't, doesn't have any major effect on the crime rate. But poverty has some effect. As the poverty increases, the crime rate tends to increase in that community.